What's going on everyone? In this video, I've done a bit of an experiment to see how good cheap freelance penetration testers actually are. What's the value for money? So I've hired some seriously cheap ones. I've got three under $15 penetration tests on a website. So let's see how good they actually are. So to start this experiment, I needed to make a vulnerable website. So I made a WordPress website called She Travels with a premise that it's gonna be my blog uh, for a woman called Emma. So I needed to make this vulnerable to something, something for the testers to find. So it doesn't have HTTPS. I've made the SSH password very weak, so this could be brute forced. I put a vulnerable WordPress plugin, which was Theme Grill, it's a recent vulnerable plugin. I've made the MySQL database accessible to the internet and also have a weak password. And last but not least, I've made a directory or a file, sorry, a page called S2, and it has cross-site scripting and also the ability to gain a reverse shell into the box. So I was hoping the penetration testers would be able to find this. It's easily accessible with something like DR Buster. So to find these freelance penetration testers, I used a website called Fiverr. I literally typed in penetration testing and this brought up hundreds of penetration testers that I could go through. A few terrible images later, I found my penetration testers that I wanted to use. So I, I basically said, I'd like you to test my website for any vulnerabilities. Uh, I've had trouble in the past with my WordPress being hacked, so I've set up a new WordPress. But before I add any content, I want to ensure it's safe so it can't be hacked. So I bought a domain called tryhack.me. So I know it's kind of obvious, but can you please test this for me? Kind regards, Emma. Hello, I'm Emma. So the first one I chose, $15, advanced penetration testing, domain and DDoS protection, database penetration testing, detailed documentation. Yeah, sure, why not, I'll order that. The next one, $5, yeah, sure, not much information, but let's have a look. Okay, more information. Some few bits from the OWASP top 10, doesn't look too bad, so yeah, sure, I'll go ahead and order that. The next one, $15 again, standard website testing, vulnerability exploitation, bug hunting, report, recommendation, sounds good. Looking at a description, ethical hacker, services include bug hunting, SQL injection, XSS, OOPS top 10, deep crawl and analysis, whatever that is. High detection rate, low false positives. Sounds pretty good for $15, I'll go for that. So communications now start to come in from the testers. The $5 tester asked me to remove IP restrictions. So did one of the $15 testers. I obviously said no because it's a development website and I only want myself and them to be able to access the website. So give me your IP addresses and I'll whitelist you. I had to actually ask the $5 tester to see if he's actually started yet because he didn't tell me. And it turns out he's got a dynamic IP address, which means it changed and he couldn't access the website. But again, he didn't tell me this. So I thought it was more hassle than it was worth trying to whitelist him. So for this test, I just allowed the firewall. So pretty bad practice on his part. The $15 tester said, yeah, this is fine to whitelist my IP address, but I can only use manual tools and not private tools, whatever that means. He also said he can install security. So I mean, that's an interesting one. Later on, he said that he's found a vulnerability in the website and it needs deep analysis, so allow this IP address. So I had a look at what that IP was and it turns out it's a third party WordPress scanner website. So, I mean, this isn't great practice to be using my website on this. You should be doing things manually, but um, yeah, not great. After this, he tells me he's found a CSERF vulnerability that can redirect to my site some spam. Uh, it can blacklist me from Google. An attacker can install a backdoor. I mean, this is a very interesting way to tell someone they've got a CSERF. The second $15 tester initially asked me if the website was staging or testing. This is something you commonly ask when you're doing a web application assessment, so this is good. I got his IP address, I whitelisted it, and he was well on his way to doing the testing. Quite quickly, he came back to me with a vulnerability. It was the MySQL database weak password and accessible publicly. So I thought this guy was gonna find everything. I thought he's found the loaf hanging fruit here, he's gonna go on to find everything else as well. That wasn't actually the case. This was the only communication that he sent me, which was quite disappointing. Um, and then I got a report after this. So, you know, it wasn't actually as good as I expected it. So let's take a look at the pen testing reports. The first one was the $5 report that I got. So. You've got some obvious information here that any penetration tester will probably provide, which is the website, the IP address, um, what WordPress version is being used, WordPress spelt wrong, 
um, the theme in use flash, so it's a bit of description about what's going on. Uh, so the first finding, not using HTTPS. Good finding, this is something I wanted them to find, so I'm happy with that. Second finding, website is vulnerable to DDoS slow LORES attacks. Not true, I'm using uh, Cloudflare as a CDN, so that's protecting me against DDoS. So that is not a true finding. Um, I, he's probably just using a tool that's told him that is true, but actually it's not. Um, we don't have any other vulnerabilities and all plugins are not vulnerable. Well, that's not true because I've got a vulnerable plugin there that will actually allow you to delete my website. So you didn't find that. Next finding, to increase security, change website logging admin panel from WP admin to admin. I mean, that's a terrible recommendation, really. I mean, if anyone just does a directory brute forcing on your website, they will find slash admin straight away. If you really want to do this, you want to just make it a, a random string that won't be in a directory busting um, word list. Uh, although I wouldn't really recommend this anyway. What I would recommend is actually what he recommends next, which is to put two-factor authentication on. So although they might find the directory and they might gain the password, they still need another factor to log in. So that's a good recommendation. Although overall, I wouldn't say it's a great recommendation. The next thing is you need to install a WordPress security plugin. Uh, All-in-one WordPress security and firewall is a good one. Yeah, you can do that. You can also do WordFence. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a good recommendation, but I mean, overall, I'd say the report looks pretty bad uh, and the recommendations aren't amazing. Uh, and they obviously haven't found all of my uh, my security problems in the website that I set out. So although it's found the HTTPS really in the grand scheme of things, that is that is nothing. It's just encryption. And uh, yeah, when you can get a reverse shell and XSS and things like that, it's kind of... Yeah, not great. So it's $5. What do you expect, I suppose? But you really shouldn't be doing penetration tests if this is going to be your output. So next up, we'll look at one of the $15 ones. So first of all, testing results and recommendations for tryhack.me. DDoS protection. Site looks good and is DDoS protected. So already this counters the last guy because this guy says we have DDoS protection. The last guy says I don't. So uh, this is the difference in $5 and $15, it seems. Add HTTPS. So that's two people that have found this now. So that's good. Uh, so that's that's one good finding that both have found. Not vulnerable to XSS. Now this is an interesting one because why would he not say not vulnerable to SQLI or XSE or other OWASP top 10 type things or other injection attacks? Why specifically has he said XSS? Interesting. Weak database protection. So I, found, I thought this guy was gonna find everything because very quickly he found that the MySQL database was on the internet um, and it had a weak password. So I thought, yeah, this guy's gonna be pretty good. So he's gonna go straight out there, find everything, and it's gonna be a really good pen test for $15. Uh, I mean, this is the only thing he really found, so it, it didn't work out that way. But he did provide recommendations here to, uh, to not have a weak password um, and take it off the internet. So that's, that's quite good. Avoid over usage, over usage of WooCommerce. I mean, a lot of websites use WooCommerce. It's a very, very big commercial um, cart software for WordPress. So although, yeah, it does have uh, a lot of vulnerabilities out there, uh, as long as you keep it patched, it's probably not much of an issue. You know, zero days exists. Um, yeah, I suppose, yeah, no, I'll give it him. It's an informational risk, so it's probably worth adding in there but I mean overall the the report isn't great it's in a notepad file for a start but for $15 again can I really expect him to find everything he found a, the one of the biggest low hanging fruits there was so that's something and finally the last $15 pen test report first and foremost your WordPress website is vulnerable to attack imminently scary in red font conclusion we have good indication that your site is vulnerable and can be exploited by attackers or malware bots some scary report this i mean i'm guessing it's a pdf of a powerpoint presentation because that's what it looks like so let's see what we've got <laughs> wordpress vulnerability my software shows that the vulnerability in your wordpress file there is a okay so the, the, this is vulnerable apparently secure Okay, I'm okay, I'm secure. 
Solutions, yeah, this is what we want. We want solutions. I don't need any information other than solutions. Update the theme, it is up to date. My software shows the vulnerability in your WordPress file URL. Well, no, because WordPress is up to date, so I don't need any of this. It's fine. I think this guy has obviously just used a scanner and not verified the output. Recommendations. Okay, this is what we need. I don't need a solution. I need the recommendations. Make sure your plugin and themes are up to date. The theme's up to date. I've got a vulnerable plugin, but you've clearly not found that. If it's possible, kindly change the permission of your WP config file to 777 to 644. So he's saying basically, don't make the WP config file uh, available to everyone in your Linux directory. M only make the root user and people um, allowed to access it. Uh, I mean, it's actually set to 644, not 777. So this recommendation is irrelevant. Uh, it doesn't need to be put there. Um, and he wouldn't have been able to see this anyway. So I'd, I'm not really sure why this is a recommendation. Always use WordFront's plugin. Okay, again, yeah, it's a recommendation to use a security plugin. It's a good recommendation. Um, but I mean, overall, the report hasn't actually found anything. So for $15, um, all I've got is, a, 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 I can't even call it a pretty report, really, can I? So I haven't really got much for $15 here. Uh, I'd say the $5 guy was actually better. What can you take away from this, really? Well, buy cheap, you're going to get cheap, very evidently. Make sure your penetration testers are certified. You know, there's a reason why companies have to be accredited. There's a reason why their penetration testers have to do exams and be certified. They need to be a certain level of penetration tester, gain a certain level of knowledge to actually be able to do this stuff. Or I mean, essentially, this is going to be the output. You're going to get kind of bad reports that don't actually find anything, even though the website has uh, the ability to upload a reverse shell or gain XSS or, you know, various other things that these people haven't found. I mean, it has a plugin which you'd be able to enumerate um, that would allow you to actually <laughs> delete the website. So no, no one's found this and it's it would have been simple to find. You could have just brute forced the directories with DR Buster um, and that would have found the S2 PHP and that would allow you to get the XSS and the reverse shell and all that. So no, nobody seems to have done that. But again, I suppose, what can you expect for $15? But that really raises the question, should these people be selling $15 pen tests if they're just going to say, yep, you're secure or just give, you know, basically null recommendations? It's... It, it... <laughs> They're basically just con artists, really. I mean, I'm not here to flame people, and that's why I'm not showing their names, but it's just not good. I hope you guys have been interested in this little experiment. I think we found that you buy cheap, you're going to get cheap, is the bottom line here, and always go for accredited people. It's going to be expensive, but you are going to get your value for money, and that's kind of what you need. Um, you know, you want to be secure, be secure. Don't just be a tech tick box exercise. Make sure you're entities are secure but anyway thanks for watching guys it's been an interesting experiment give us a like and subscribe i appreciate it